terrifying moments on board an Air Asia X flight. It was just about an hour into the journey from Perth, Australia to Kuala Lumpur when passengers heard a bang and then that was followed by violent shaking. It continued for the nearly two hours it took for the plane to return to the airport. And the pilot even asking passengers to pray, not once, but twice. Commercial pilot Anthony Roman joins us now on the story. I mean, it is, first of all, the good news is they landed safely, obviously, but when we are told that the pilot gets on and he, bas and he doesn't basically say, he does say, okay, now's time for you to pray. That's the last thing I want to hear if I'm in that cabin. Oh, Eric, if it falls within the parameters program. Anthony, now, thank you so much. My pleasure. Republican senators nervously waiting for the nonpartisan review of their health care bill at this hour. I mean, the city. Absolutely. I mean, let's, let's face it. This guy, the, in my opinion, I'm a supporter of cops. And, and it comes just a few days after Michael Brown's family also had a settlement. Uh, theirs was about half, though. Uh, which again brings into question. I mean, attention is huge. In the civil rights cases I tried, typically speaking, even when we had it on video, they would really push Brown settlement as opposed to a settlement like we're talking about here. Because Michael Brown, with all due respect, is not an admission of guilt. But do these repeated settlements that we're seeing in these cases that are getting national attention, mm. does this? Does this have an impact? You think on the way the community views their relationship with law enforcement? Absolutely. If they could care less. Mm. All right, Bobby Yankee, good to have you with us. Thank you. My pleasure. A teen who's been missing for more than a year found sick.